Hey you guys, uh, it has been a while since I have done a vlog. So many of us these days, we can't travel. We are stuck at home because of the pandemic. Um, I thought that I would uh, start a project to uh, beautify uh, different parts of my home. And Keith and I have been living in this house now for, I think it's been about five years. And the one place though that we haven't really personalized the space yet is in our own master bedroom. And this has been on the top of my to-do list in terms of big scale, bigger scale projects. I thought that 2021 is, is the perfect time to tackle something like this, especially in January, which is you know a great way to kick off the new year. And if you have been following my Instagram stories, you'll notice that I have started to um, uh, document it. And I thought that I would also document it here in terms of kind of the, this whole entire journey. Um, so you can see this, the before space that I'm working with. And then I'll take you along some shopping trips with me and also show you some of the inspiration photos that I have tagged on Pinterest. Um, there's been a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to bring you along with me on this journey and hopefully at the end of it, um, you'll see what's been done. Uh, let's take a look first at the space that we are talking about. So I will give you a, a quick tour of our bedroom and give you sort of a, a sense of where my head is at for what we want to do. So this is our bedroom and it's a fairly decent size. I mean, um, it's got a enough, enough space for a king bed um, plus two nightstands. So, I, you know, I would say that it's fairly decent size. So all of this furniture is going to go. We're going to get a new bed and new nightstands for it. We're gonna do some new window treatments as well. I'm not a fan of blinds, so we're gonna be re replacing that. I do intend to do something with this wall. I can't quite share it with you guys yet because I still have to work out the mechanics of how to do it, but I'll just say that it will be a feature wall. So stay tuned for that. The opposite wall, um, we are going to keep the reading chair in the corner because we love it. We both use it a lot. Um, I'm going to get rid of that lamp just because it just doesn't seem to belong there. And it's just really, I mean, it just ends up looking like you're, when you're sitting in the chair, it ends up looking like you're in the salon. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep this lovely chair, but uh, we're going to do something with this wall. We'll remove the TV. Uh, this TV, we didn't put it here. Again, this belongs to the house when we first got here. We're gonna fill it with, I'm thinking about turning this into a gallery wall and um, potentially adding some other uh, type of treatment as well. I was originally thinking about adding plants along this wall, but given the direction of the light is really hitting the bed, that I think plants will be uh, more populated on this side of the wall. So that is in a nutshell what I'm thinking about the space. So I wanna give you guys uh, an idea of what I'm thinking of in terms of the look and feel for the master bedroom, in particular for that feature wall where the headboard is going to be. Um, I've got uh, some ideas that are brewing in my head and I put together a mood board of kind of a, a lighter color palette and also a darker color palette. And at the end of the day, obviously I have to choose one. So I'm documenting, documenting this journey so that uh, you can see how this all progresses and at the end of the day, see which one I end up choosing and how we execute on it. So let's start with the darker color scheme. What you'll notice over the next few slides here, I've chosen darker grays and blues 
And what's interesting in some of them is this panel wall feature. I think it is so cool. And in this case, um, I've seen like uh, horizontal and vertical designs. I've also seen um, diagonal. So this is an example of that, as opposed to a much more um, standard grid structure. Then you have this incredible feature wall meant to resemble a panel wall, but I just really love the look of it. And it just adds such an incredible visual interest, um, especially when you paint it a much darker color in more than if you had a plain white wall. And I actually really love this room. It's the right uh, scale and space, very, very similar to our bedroom. I am absolutely in love with this color. I feel like it's more of um, a darker, platinum blue. Here's an example of if you wanted to do a gallery wall. I just wanted to include it in here as a discussion point for Keith and I to think about um, if that's something that we would consider. But to be honest, again, for the reasons I stated earlier, I just don't think that it's practical if, you know, we live in an earthquake zone um, and these things start rattling in the middle of the night. Just, I just don't think I can sleep. So let's take a look at the lighter color palette. I absolutely love this setup. Just this singular vertical panel that runs across the wall in, in off-white, so monochromatic. This entire room just speaks comfort to me and I, I find it incredibly inviting. It's very bright and airy as you would hope a um, a lighter palette would do um, and I think it also helps with the fact that uh, there is an area rug right underneath the bed that warms up the space as well and really pulls everything together so um, this is one of my most favorite photos in this entire set so similarly um, the wall treatment here also includes a paneling. This particular style is a little bit different. Um, it's, a, it's a set of rectangular panels in the back. Um, the, the headboard is more formal. I believe it's got some beading around it, but I do love the dove gray color. I think that works really well with this white palette. Um, I don't think we have room for a footstool at the base of the bed, but we'll just have to see when everything kind of shakes out. Um, this look is a little bit more refined. I like the fact that uh, the headboard is in a darker fabric. And I think that that's important because there's no real wall treatment here. It's just a white wall. Earlier, you saw a darker blue version of this wall. Here is the, of course, the white version. And I actually really like this. And with the natural um, tones, neutral tones, and the natural woods on the bed frame. I think this all really goes well together. Now I added this in here because one of the things I'd like to include in our bedroom is a uh, floor length mirror. And I know that there's been a lot of these gold sort of gilded mirrors, antique mirrors. It's starting to feel overdone and it's appearing in so many spaces now um, that I'm looking for Something similar, but different. Um, love the color palette here. Um, these sort of taupe and oatmeal tones um, and white and uh, dove grays. I, I really love all of these tones um, on the pillows and, and uh, on the bed. That's it guys. Um, I hope you got a sense of my design style um, and where I wanted to take the bedroom. Next time I will take you shopping with me as I go to different furniture stores and begin looking for the right bed and other pieces of furniture like the side tables so to look for lighting um, and maybe even start looking at paint swatches and things like that. So it'll be really fun. Um, that's actually the the cool part is that buying journey. So until next time, stay tuned.